Roberto Calvi, known as God's Banker, was an enigmatic and controversial figure in the world of international finance. Born in Italy in 1920, Calvi rose through the ranks to become the chairman of Banco Ambrosiano, one of Italy's largest private banks. He earned his nickname due to his close ties with the Vatican and its financial dealings. Under Calvi's leadership, Banco Ambrosiano flourished, becoming a major player in the global financial scene. However, beneath the veneer of success lay a web of corruption, scandal and intrigue. The bank was engaged in a myriad of illegal activities, including money laundering, financial fraud and shady loans to unsavory characters. In 1981, Italian authorities began to unravel the illicit activities of Banco Ambrosiano and Calvi was arrested on charges of currency smuggling. Although he was released on bail, his troubles were far from over. The following year, Banco Ambrosiano collapsed under the weight of $1.3 billion in debt, leading to one of the largest banking scandals in history. In the midst of the scandal, Calvi disappeared, sparking a frenzied manhunt across Europe. His body was discovered on June 18, 1982, hanging from Blackfriars Bridge in London. The initial investigation concluded that Calvi had taken his own life, but many suspected foul play. In the years that followed, new evidence emerged, casting doubt on the suicide theory. It was revealed that Calvi had been involved with the secretive and powerful Propaganda Du P2 Masonic Lodge, which counted among its members influential politicians, business leaders, and military officials. The Lodge was implicated in numerous scandals and criminal activities, leading some to believe that Calvi's death was a result of his connections to this clandestine organization. Furthermore, Calvi had been laundering money for the Mafia through Banco Ambrosiano, making him a target for mob retribution. In 2003, Italian prosecutors reopened the investigation into Calvi's death. And in 2005, five individuals were tried for his murder. However, due to insufficient evidence, all were acquitted in 2007. The story of Roberto Calvi, God's banker, remains shrouded in mystery and speculation. His life and death serve as a cautionary tale of greed, corruption, and the shadowy underbelly of international finance. While the truth behind his demise may never be fully revealed, the scandal that brought down Banco Ambrosiano continues to serve as a stark reminder of the perils of unchecked ambition and the dark side of power. If you liked this content and would like more of it, consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time.